Do you love me? No. Oh, my titty! Why are we like fire and ice? <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Gabriel Zamora and thank you so much for watching. You guys, look, I'm wearing my Manny shirt, my Manny merch. If you don't like it, don't fucking watch it. That's not my saying, but I do love this shirt. So shout out to Manny and Manny mwah, clothing for sending me this shirt. I really appreciate it. If you don't have your Manny MUA shirt, I'll try to link it down below. I said in my last video that you know, I wanted to know if y'all wanted to see a video of me using tart shape tape all over my face. A lot of y'all said yes and I just wanted to, I swear to God, if it pinches me one more time. But yeah, you guys, I'm gonna do my entire face using Tarte Shape Tape. I've already done my brows, but I think all I'm gonna do is just prime with something different, like how I usually prime. And then I'm just gonna blend it out and I'm not gonna wear foundation and I'm just gonna use this. This was inspired by who did it? So Gigi Gorgeous do it first. And I was like, I wanna do it. I got this little package from Tarte, so. Why not? So if you wanna see my face with just Tarte Shape Tape, then keep on watching. Okay, so to begin, you wanna open it, this is what it looks like. These are all the shades that they have. I think these are all the shades that they have. I don't even know what shade my face is. I think it's gonna be like around here. I think it's this one. Yeah, let's try this one. And then I'm also gonna be using the Tarte Beauty Sponge, so real tarty. That's why I did the purple backdrop. It's a real Tarte video. It's not even sponsored, but I was like, Let's make it seem sponsored. <laughs> okay, let's try the color medium. It's like a real like full coverage type of concealer. Always if you wanna test out a color to see if it's like your actual color, like foundation wise, you wanna test it out right here. That looks very light actually. But if you blend it out, this is a good natural highlight. Okay, so that's too light, but I still wanna use this color. So that's the color medium. Let's try the next color in line, tan. This is the difference between the two. This is tan, this is, oh wow, that's a big difference. Oh, it's pretty. That looks more accurate, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna use this one as foundation. Let's just do it there. Oh, already look living for it. I'm gonna do like a full coverage type of look to it. Oh, I didn't even prime my face. Let me just prime my T-zone because I could get really oily and I don't know if this is gonna like combat that. But I have tried kind of like those days where you don't wanna wear like makeup and you just wear like concealer. And this one has been such full coverage that I've used it as just that. The weather has to be perfect outside for my skin to like be normal. But if it's really hot, like right now it's really hot in LA, you guys. It's like a hundred and something degrees. It's like disgusting. I don't know if y'all get this, but there's like heat warnings. Like, girl, it's too hot. And I'm like, okay. I'm just gonna stay indoors then. Okay, so then I'm gonna place it here. So pretty. I'm just gonna grab this sponge. It's actually not a bad sponge. The Real Techniques one that you can find at Target. It's so much bigger though. So if you want something bigger, I'd go for the Real Techniques. And then this is the Beauty Blender. I will say the Beauty Blender is actually the tiniest bit more stiff, but I feel like it's really gonna like blend it out. This one's real spongy. This one's the softest. This is the softest, then it's this one, then it's this one. So I feel like this is like a great combo for the two. I do like that it has a flat side. Do you need a flat side? No. Why do I like it? I don't know, to be quite honest. Yeah, this is definitely my skin color, wow. Not a lot of like products are my exact skin color. My undertone is sometimes so off. On camera, it looks more like my skin tone than in person. No, in person? It's because, oh, look, I need a tan, dude. I feel like Manny, with like a tan ass face, <laughs> like a white ass body. <laughs> Sorry, Manny moi. It was so funny. I knew it was MUA, like Manny MUA, but I remember Tyler one time was like, oh, it's MUA? I thought it was moi. <laughs> if you ever see Manny, call him Manny moi. The only thing with the flat side, I will say, you can't really pinch it to make it like thinner. Like I would probably pinch it like this. So the actual surface area is a lot smaller for when I go here, especially if you're like blonde. Like right now with my blue hair, I feel like I'm a blonde. Like I can't carry my product all the way up to my hairline like I used to when I had like the black sides. Yeah, see if I like go here, it gets into my hairline because I can't like pinch it. It like feels weird, but it's not a bad sponge. You should probably just check out the prices. Honestly, I'd probably get this one because this one I think is like $12 or something really cheap for two. I had two of these, but I gave one to my mom, the Real Technique ones. I'd probably just get that one. But if you're doing it on a budget, girl, just get the Real Techniques one. You can get it at Target. 
Oh, that's pretty. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the lighter one. This one is in the color medium, and I'm gonna highlight certain areas. I don't feel like it's the brightest highlight, so I'm gonna do a very natural highlight. Here, here. How much is shape tape? I'm like doing a full face using shape tape. I don't even know how much it is. And then with the side that I use the darker side, I'm gonna blend this one out, just so it's not too bright. Oh, this is really pretty. I am not mad at this. I'm gonna start doing this more often. Okay, now I think for the darker one, just to contour the face, I wanna use Deep, which is this color. Yeah, let's use Deep. They're meant to be contour concealers, so you can highlight and contour. Let's see. That added way too much color. Let me try the other one, the one that I said I wasn't gonna use. It might be a little too dark. This one is rich. This one's deep. Let me do like a dot, like a dollop. God, I hate that word, but I always use it. Oh, that's so much prettier than that. I think I'm washing my hair tonight. Rich is so much better because it's not as like orangey as like the deep one was. See, this one's so much prettier than this one. <laughs> I mean, it makes the skin really glow though. I don't know. I think I'll use kind of like that deep again, but around the jaw to see if it'll like contour it. I'm getting a pimple. Damn it. Damn it. And then I'm not gonna cream contour my nose because I'm not gonna play myself like that because I never cream contour my nose. Oh, well, should I just try it? No, I'm not doing that. I think I'm gonna set my face like I normally would. So for powder, I'm just gonna use, okay, so I know this one's really bougie. This is the La Mer powder. It's nice. It's pretty. Just get a $40 Laura Mercier powder. You'll be fine. Trust me, you'll be fine. And then here. Oh, I know why this looks familiar, this backdrop, is whenever I did my foundation for oily skin routine. I was like, this looks so familiar. I've used the purple backdrop with the all blue hair and a black top. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and then I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look. I set my face, I actually applied some of the bronzer. I used the KKW Beauty. I put it in this like, little thing. So I put some bronzer, I contoured my nose with powder, and then I put on some blush, and I just set everything up. I even put some highlight on, just like some quick little highlight. And this is it. I actually really like it. It's really nice, and it matched my skin really well. You might have to buy like a couple just to really be able to mix the colors, but the coverage is really nice. It doesn't feel cakey, but it does look full color. Coverage. I don't know if that makes sense. Like sometimes some full coverage makeup looks very cakey, even if you have it on, but it still kind of looks like skin, which I really like. How would I use this? I think if I'm traveling and I don't want to carry too many products, whenever I travel, especially if it's like a makeup makeup event, I travel with like this. Eight different foundations. It has stick foundations, it has liquid foundations, it has like little ones, it has primers, it has like setting sprays. It has a lot of stuff in it. If you're like wanting to travel and you want something that can go from like light coverage to like medium to full coverage, I definitely recommend just getting the shape tapes and just having them with you. And yeah, it literally looks like skin. I really like it. It actually looks really nice. I'm looking at myself in the monitor and I'm like, Come on, skin. Come on, skin. So overall, I definitely give this a thumbs up if you wanna do your full face using Tarte Shape Tape, especially if you have one that's light enough to conceal, one that's your skin color, and one you can contour with. Three, and you're good to go. How much are they? I don't know, how much are they? How much is Tarte Shape Tape? Okay, I found this on the web. Let's go see. Ulta.com has it for $25. That's a lot, actually. Okay, maybe, mm, like, if you have money, do it. But some foundations have more. Let me see, how much is in a product compared to a foundation? So Tarte Shape Tape has 0.3 fluid ounces, and usually a foundation is one fluid ounce. Like, this is a random one. This is the Kevin Kwan, the Etherealist. 
You probably get more bang for your buck for this. It's completely up to you guys. I liked it. I'll probably be doing it, but I also get it for free, so. So you guys, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you leave any comments, questions, concerns down in the comment section down below. Also, let me know if you want me to try full face using something else as well. Maybe I'll do like a full face using actual Tarte products where it's actual Tarte foundation or different brands or different products. And if you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hi everyone, join the hi everyone family. <laughs> and until next time. If you don't like it, don't f***ing watch it. Oh my god. Bye everyone.